Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey guys, it's Dana. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and Merry Happy Yuletide. Merry Happy Yuletide. What else? Am I missing anybody? I don't think so, but if I am, Happy Merry Everything. Right on. Let's do it, you guys. We're going to throw down some cards for Taurus. If you are a Taurus, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, Vedic or Western, this reading may resonate with you or it may not. Give me a second to channel and we will throw down a message for Taurus, okay? I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay them all out. I'm going to really confuse you for a good minute and I'm going to sew together a story, okay? And I'll read the story to you from start to finish. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. Ooh, justice trying to come out. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus and what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand? All right, let's go. One, two, all right. Ooh, look at that, three. Interesting. We'll go one, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Prince Cups in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, Prince of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the High Priestess in reverse. Wow. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in reverse as well. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. First card out is the Hanged Man. Pausing, processing, taking a step back. The five of Wands in reverse. Justice. The Six of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. The Four of Wands. The Star in reverse in the center of the reading to Death. And the Devil. Look at that. The Princess of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The Prince of Swords in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Cups. All right. Strength. Princess of Swords in Reverse, Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Let's see if there's anything change coming here. Okay, just in Reverse. Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Absolutely. Okay. And the Ace of Swords is where we'll stop. Okay. Let's make some sense out of all of this craziness right here. What is happening, Taurus? What is happening for the next six weeks or so. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the hangman, first card out, sets tone for everything. And then you have the star in reverse in the center of the reading. The whole thing revolves around that. So the hangman, the hangman, spirit, tell me about the hangman, please. What is this about? New perspective, need to see something, need to stop putting your head in the sand. Perhaps. Three of cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. And then the sun. All right. All right, you guys. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is what's going on. Okay. This is what is happening here. So, first card out sets the tone for everything, right? Everything. The hangman talks about surrendering, surrendering to, to, to what and why, okay? So this particular person that this reading is about or for um, has some kind of calling that they are ignoring, okay? And that calling is supposed to lead you to a place where you are going to step into some kind of a relationship, okay? So, 
the hangman, right? Surrender, surrendering. Why? Get well, you know what? You've been resisting. As we go through the rest of this reading, you'll see, okay? You've been resisting doing something that you know that you need to do. Okay, so the hangman, take a step back, get a new perspective and surrender to where the universe is trying to take you. All right. Remember, they speak to you through your intuition, signs and synchronicities around you, your ancient soul from back in the day, same ancient soul that's going to be here when this meat suit finally wears out is the exact same soul that lives within you right now. And it speaks to you and it leads you and it guides you through movings, knowings and your intuition. Okay, and there is something stirring inside of this person that um, they are not acting upon. Okay, that's the hangman right there. Surrender. Three of cups in reverse. Now, everybody would jump immediately to third party interference, right? And in a way, it is. Okay, but this card is truly about stifled creativity. Can't create because there's too much going on. Okay. All right. So stifled creativity. What's the third party situation? Well, you universe is trying to work with you and you are doing something else. Okay. <laughs> Four of swords in reverse. Um, you are experiencing a lack of progress and a lack of success in your life. Somehow, some way, a lot of this is financial but a lot of this is also emotional. Lots of water, lots of pentacles on the board, okay? So, mentally restless, um, a lack of success. You are mentally restless about a lack of success. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Uh, maybe you don't have enough money for the holidays. Maybe you just broke, like all the way around, just broke, broke. But this person is experiencing some kind of negative loss in their life, and it is directly related to your sense of well-being, and your sense of security, okay? Major Arcana comes on top of this and says, we want to show you the path to happiness, success, and vitality. We want to lead you in that direction, but we need you to see clearly that there needs to be some action in your life, okay? To the lovers, the path to happiness, success, vitality involves someone else. Okay, it involves someone else. The lovers, everybody always jumps to love, but it's not a card about love. It's a card about energetic attraction. Okay, it's lesson number six in the or in the order of the major arcana. Okay, energetic attraction. They need you to surrender to the calling and stop hanging in a place of fear, regret, or loss, or lack, okay? And they need you to take action on the stirring that's inside of you so they can lead you to where you need to go, and where you need to go involves some kind of significant relationship, okay? All right. Five of Wands in reverse. Um, five of Wands in reverse is an increased focus on some kind of goal, okay? And that goal needs to be, or is for this person, the Four of Wands, right? The Four of Wands is about the, a lot of people say it's the marriage card, right? But it is a, about stability, foundation, inspiration. It's a four, so it's about the foundation stones of your life, peace, happiness, 1111, all that kind of stuff, okay? So in order for them to get you to where you need to go, you need to change your focus so they can take you to this place, okay? Justice, it's in your best interest. Justice is always in your best interest. It is right, fair, and proper. It's also about um, your accountability. Your accountability to the situation, what this hanged man energy is about, six of wands, is you overcoming this battle and you being successful in this situation. What is justice? Well, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is about bringing some kind of painful mindset to an end. Mm -hmm. Painful mindset to an end. Ten is completion. It's over. It's done. 
bring it to an end, four of cups, and stop um, ignoring it. Stop ignoring the, the, what you know needs to be done. Stop, stop ignoring it because that's the holdup. That's the holdup in everything. Five of Pentacles. Again, reiterating somebody is, might, might be in a tight financial spot. It's The Five of Pentacles is being broke. It's, it's, you can be broke in a lot of different ways, but this is Pentacles. This is about your sense of well-being and your sense of security. And it is, it is a five, which is about conflict and change, but out of that conflict and change comes something good. So this might be a lesson for someone, this particular situation where you're finding yourself in a position of lack and you're being moved to go, you're ignoring something, right? Four of Cups, right? You're ignoring something that Source, the universe, whatever you call it, is trying to move you towards. And the longer you resist it, the longer you're in the Five of Pentacles. You're in the conflict part and not the change part, okay? What's the problem? Well, universe comes in with judgment in reverse. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Poppy. Hold on. Oh, yeah, Poppy. Look, you guys don't know, but this dog is at my feet with every reading that I do for you. Cute, huh? Okay. Judgment in reverse. So this is your um, self-doubt. Your self-doubt is the reason that you are not following where it is that you're being asked to go. Okay? Um, you, you doubt yourself. You, it, maybe it's a crazy idea. Maybe it's some kind of business that you want to start and you're, you're broke as hell right now and you just really want to start this business, but your self-doubt holds you back and it's like, no, I can't do that. That's crazy talk. I can't. I, I got to go get a job, right? Perhaps that is the bad decision of judgment in reverse and the self-doubt. Perhaps the self-doubt is... Um, a relationship, right? I don't want to, I, 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 I just, I don't think that I can function in a relationship, okay? I just, it just is not for me. Perhaps this self-doubt has something to do with your um, education or your ability to get a job, whatever this, or, or, or some kind of financial compensation, some kind of well-being compensation somehow. But there's a lot of self-doubt, and, and that's the blockage with judgment in reverse. And look, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, a blockage. The universe can't divinely orchestrate the steps of your life if you don't follow where it is that they're leading. You. you can't go where you're supposed to go if you don't do what you're supposed to do. And this person obviously has some kind of thing that they don't want to tackle for a lot of various reasons, but it's all rooted in self-doubt. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse is a blockage, right? There can't be a turning point. There can't be doors that open for you if you're not doing what they're asking you to do. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse reiterates this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Somebody here is broke or on the verge of being broke or will be broke, according to that lesson of the Five of Pentacles right there, if they don't do what it is that they're supposed to be doing in this particular situation. What's, what's, what's going on here? Well, the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, okay? Again, the Four of Wands. Two of Cups, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is about harmony, marriage, home, community, joyfulness, stability, and security. Okay? Okay? So, what's going on? It's right beneath the sun and the lovers, the hanged man, right? There is a significant relationship that is waiting for you to engage with. Okay? But... It is directly associated to you taking action on this movement that you are resisting. Okay? All right. Okay. The Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse is two things here. First, it's on the superficial level. It's about um, perhaps your inability to commit to whatever it is that you're being guided to do, all right? 
perhaps your refusal, not your inability, your refusal to commit to what it is that the universe is trying to urge you onto. The Hierophant in Reverse is also someone who's not paying attention to spiritual messages and signs and synchronicities in their life because the Hierophant is the person um, back in, it's a Greek word, right? And back in the day, the Hierophant was like the priest or the priestess, I guess. And they were the ones who received the messages from whatever and then gave it to the people, okay? Um in the reverse, it's a blockage not doing that, right? The Hierophant in reverse could also be about, on the superficial level, your uh, commitment phobia for you. Perhaps um, you just don't want to have to spend the kind of time that you would have to spend to get what it is that you want out of life or out of this situation. And these cards are saying if you keep hanging around in the hangman and the four of cups, you're just going to continue to get the ten of pentacles in reverse and there's nothing that we can do about it. Okay? All right. So, Hierophant in reverse to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about um, defending yourself, having to fight it off, and perhaps perhaps you're trying to defend yourself from a lack mentality or scrambling or feeling um, desperate somehow. Um, the Seven of Wands, desperate somehow. Interesting. But they want you to know that the Page of Wands, as soon as you, as soon as you point your motivations, inspirations, and desires in the direction that you feel stirred inside of you to go, the Emperor, um, you are going to meet this relationship. Two of Cups, the Lovers, the Emperor, okay? But you have to get, you have to get going in that direction. Do whatever it is that you feel led to do here. Mm -hmm. But do it, okay? The emperor, this is a person that is going to be pivotal in your life, whether it's romantic, whether it's business, whether it is any kind of anything that holds some kind of significance and importance. The emperor, to me personally, is kind of like brothers with the hierophant a little bit. Okay, all right. Star in reverse, in the center of your reading, you're off track, off track. Um, there is um, no purpose in you ignoring um, the things that need to be done. Star in the upright, right? This is your path. This is your purpose. This is the direction that you need to go. But you're, you're stuck up here, right? You're not, you're not listening. Page of Swords in reverse, They're, they can't get through to you. It's all talk, no action, undelivered promises, blocked communication between you and your intuition, which is your soul, which is connected to Source, okay? They're, they can't get through to you. Page of Cups in reverse, um, there is an offer that can't get through to you. To the Three of Wands in reverse. And you can't see the forest through the trees. You're having a lack of foresight. Your self-doubt is keeping you from doing something that you know that you're supposed to be doing. Death. An ending. A change. A transformation. A complete and total rehaul of everything. This person is on the brink of a massive, massive transformation in their life. They are. But for some reason, they don't have the gumption to do it. Mm -hmm. Death is an ending. An ending to the, both of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. An ending to your lack in your sense of well-being. A massive financial transformation is about to happen if you will do what it is that you're supposed to do. A massive transformation in your whole sense of well-being is about to change. It's all about to change if you will bring to an end the self-doubt that is keeping you from actually doing what you're supposed to do. Bring to an end the devil, your self-doubt. Okay? It's an attachment. That's a restriction to your growth. It is a flesh-based thing that you have going on right here. Self-doubt is your shadow side. It's a flesh-based thing. Source would never whisper self-doubt in your ear. 
source would never know. They're trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good, but you're chained to the foot of the devil over here, knee deep in um, self-doubt. Yes, death says bring it to an end. We want to end it for you. The Ten of Wands, but you're making it hard for us. You're carrying a burden that you don't have to carry. You are making it difficult for us to do what we need to do. Look, Wheel of Fortune in reverse again, a blockage. You are making it difficult for us to do what we need to do. We are in suspended animation until you go in the direction of your best and highest good. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is about new emotional fulfillment, but I also think that this Ace of Cups goes to this Emperor and this Two of Cups in the Lover's card right here too, okay? Some kind of deep emotional churning or emotional fulfillment in, in some way. New though, right? It's, it's new emotional pleasure of some sort. Yep, Two of Wands. It's in your future. It's in your future, but you're, you're, you're tied right? You're chained to the foot of this devil right here. The universe comes on top of this and says, path and purpose, the way that you should go, the way that is in your best and highest good, your opportunity to spin both of these wheel of fortunes in the upright lies in the queen of cups. You knowing that you know that you know that what you are being moved to do inside of your life, inside of yourself, is the way of your soul path. That is the path of your best and highest good with the star card. This is renewal. It's, it's, it's washing of, it's, it goes with the death card. It's your path. It's your purpose. It's purposeful in your life. Know that you know that you know that everything is going to be just fine and okay if you will stop denying what you know to be true inside of yourself to the Princess of Pentacles and create. Do it. Start it. Plant the seeds for it. Go in that direction. Make that phone call. Send that email. Write that text message if it feels right in your guts, not in your head. In your guts, two of swords, your head. <laughs> crossroads, right? You are at a very serious crossroads. You are. Princess Swords in reverse says that you need to take responsibility for your thought life. You need to take responsibility for your actions. Confirmed by Major Archon the Magician in reverse saying that you are not manifesting in the way that is in your be of your best and highest good. It's a card about untapped talents. It's a card about um, an, an inability to manifest. And you that's why the Ten of Pentacles are in reverse. You are having a hard time manifesting some kind of stability or well-being in your life right now. And it is because of, of your lack of responsibility to take action on what you know you need to take action on. Okay? All right. All right. Magician in reverse. Okay. Went through all that. Went through all that. Now we're down here. Plant those seeds. Do the job. Plant those seeds. Work it. Work it. Work it. Work it. Okay? To the King of Wands in reverse. This King of Wands in reverse is about a lack of success. It's about a lack of confidence. It's someone who doesn't believe in themselves. It's, it's, it's someone who has failed or feels like a failure or is in fear of failure. It's someone who's not doing good. Their, their, their job is sinking. Their business is sinking. Their company is sinking. Um, they are not conquering and they are not achieving in the realm of inspiration and motivation in their lives right now. And this is you. To the nine of pentacles in reverse, financial setbacks. And the, t the four of pentacles in reverse talks about being out of control of your stability. Okay? This is rough. And then boom. Queen of cups again. Know that you know that you know that you know that what you're supposed to be doing is the right thing. Mm -hmm. Strength. Be strong about it. Be strong. Overcome the obstacles in your way. What's the obstacle? Some kind of self-doubt mindset, okay? And follow your guts. Strength. Overcome. Don't, don't succumb. 
overcome. You've got this. You can do this. Major Arcana. Universe talking to you. To the Princess of Swords in reverse, we can't help you. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. We can't help you. Six of Pentacles, achieve what you want to achieve. Five of Swords, while you're holding on to some kind of win-at-all-costs mentality. And this is the mentality that is rooted in the self-doubt of this top row. Mm -hmm. I need to get a job. I can't be an entrepreneur. I need to do X, Y, and Z. I have to keep doing. I have to keep doing. I have to keep doing. And they're saying, no, do this fucking thing right here. Do this thing. Do this. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment in your life. Four of Cups in reverse is coming from your emotional apathy. It's coming from ignoring what the universe is trying to give you in that fourth cup. Two of Pentacles, get a hold of yourself. Prioritize and balance, communing, understanding where it is that they're, they, it, them, she, he is trying to get you to go. Ten of Cups, because they want to take you to a place of a great deal of fulfillment. Fool in reverse, but you're off track now. You're off track. You're off track. Alchemist in reverse. Your manifestation is fuzzy. It's not pointing you in the direction that you need to go to be in a position to enter into this significant relationship right here. Ace of Cups. New love, new emotions, new emotional satisfaction, your emotional growth possibly having to do with getting control of your self-doubt. Ace of Cups is here twice. Ace of Cups twice, the lovers, the emperor, the two of cups, the four of wands twice. This relationship that you're entering into is significant, significant for your life. Ten of Cups. But it, it can't, it can't manifest. It can't particularize <laughs> in your life. If you are not doing something, there is some kind of direction that you know you're being, look, eight of wands in my hand, some kind of direction that you are being asked to go. Four of pentacles in reverse, and it's going to bring a cure to your lack of stability at the moment. And the ace of swords, chop, chop, get your mind in the game. Get your mind in the game, mind in the game. Princess of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So you can, you can acknowledge and accept and be ready for this offer. Nine of Pentacles. This is self-sufficient, independent, entrepreneur, handle in business kind of woman right here. Okay? And she, she knows her worth and she, she is just fine financially. And so will you be in your sense of well-being. High Priestess in reverse, if you stop ignoring your intuition, the Hierophant, and commit to doing what it is that you know you're supposed to be doing. Take a step back, reflect and reassess and reflect on how it is you're going about doing things. Seven of Cups in reverse. This card's talking about um, coming out of a state of confusion. Seven of Swords, breaking free of a futile mentality. Prince of Pentacles, been stuck for a minute. Six of Swords in reverse and a bunch of mental bullshit. And the Prince of Cups in reverse. And it is interfering with a big, huge, significant opportunity that is just waiting to bust through for you. So, there you go. <laughs> I hope that helps someone. Namaste.